Good morning. For part of our lab today, we're going to look at pruning deciduous fruits. Now, I'm not going to prune the whole tree because that's kind of boring just to watch somebody prune a tree, but I'm going to point out some of the things we need to look at uh, before we start. Now, if you look at a tree like this, this is a peach tree, uh, a lot of students just don't know where to start. This is, it looks overly complicated, but we got some basic principles here we're going to work on and learn. First of all, you want to look at crossing branches. Now, in the middle, this is supposed to be pruned as a vase shape, and it has been pruned as a vase shape uh, in the past, but we've got some pretty obvious crossing branches through the center here. You want to look for broken branches that may have had too much fruit on it and broke the branch. Um, offhand, I don't see any broken branches, but well, there might be some later on. And diseased branches. Now, diseased branches a lot of times have rough, kind of darkened bark, sometimes oozing gum. That's usually a bacterial disease, and you want to be really careful with that because you can spread that to other trees and other branches. First of all, where we start, we, we look at our tools. Uh, I've got a saw here. Uh, it uh, works really well for larger branches. And I've also got a battery-powered chainsaw. On, on big branches that are just a little bit too big for you, or if, they're, if you're going through a knot and they're really hard. Uh, we probably won't be using that today, but it works really well on, on bigger branches. Got a pair of loppers here. I'm gonna put these down on a towel on the ground. I'm trying to keep dirt off the blades because if you get dirt and grit on here, uh, it'll eventually dull the blades really badly. So on these, you can either put them on a towel or a piece of cardboard or lean them against the trunk um, with this on the, on the ground and the blade up against the trunk. That works really well in avocado grows, especially if with thick mulch. I've lost so many pruners in avocado mulches and uh, I think I need a metal detector to find them. And you need a pair of hand pruners. I'm gonna I have a, a bottle of Lysol here. Before I start, I like to clean all my tools. I don't know where this uh, pruner has been, and I want to make sure it's not got, it doesn't have a bacteria, a fungus, or a virus on it. So we will kind of clean it up a little bit, and I always do that in between trees. Okay, you can take a look inside the vase here. You can see that it has been pruned as a vase in the past. We've not, we have an obvious crossing branch right here that will be taken off, probably right there. And look for some more crossing branches. Okay, so uh, after we get the diseased branches, the broken branches, the crossing branches out, then we'll take a look at thinning and heading back. Uh, this is a good example of thinning here. We've got too many branches close to each other. You can see where I've got the pruner right here. We'll cut that out. Get that out of there. We've got, this is okay. It's spaced pretty well. That's spaced pretty well. Um, I'm going to take this one out. These two, there's a little guy right there. Take that out. A couple guys right next to each other down in there. They don't need to be there. Open this up a little bit. Okay, in there we've helped uh, a little bit with thinning their fruit. Or it helps you get rid of fruit too. You don't, you don't want too many fruit. This is, uh, they, they are really small and really almost not edible and not a commercial product. So, okay, we're gonna go through methodically and thin. 
Uh, you can see we're just a few inches apart here. Okay, let's look up at the top of the tree. You see how high it's going? It's going way up there. Okay, so we're gonna bring that back, back down a little bit. I can reach about this high. So I don't wanna have my fruiting higher than that. Uh, and we're gonna cut that off. And I, you can also, all of you, we have short people, tall people. You wanna make that tree convenient for you. And when you cut it back, you wanna cut right back to a bud. There's a bud right where my finger is here. You don't want to leave a stub. I'll show you a bad pruning job. Let's just, for the heck of it, uh, prune right here. Now that stub will get infected with a fungus and that's not a good, good deal. It heals up a lot better if you can prune back to a bud like that. Okay, so we will go through there. That's called heading and thinning. Okay, we're focusing on my hat here. This is on a larger branch, and we are gonna cut that with three cut pruning. Um, you gotta be careful with these larger cuts on larger branches. It, sometimes when you cut, it'll just tear the bark all the way down here. I've seen some really large wounds that get infected, and uh, that's big trouble for the branch. So let's see if we can do this. Make an undercut here. That's so it won't tear bark. Get the rest of the branch, that's your first cut. Okay, then we're gonna do a cleanup cut right here. This makes it so the tree can the tree can heal easily. nice clean cut that can heal. Um, takes a while to do this. Uh, it's, this is, works better with the little chainsaw I showed you earlier. Okay, so next we are going to go over some younger trees and show you some problems on those. Okay, well as most of you should know by now, um, uh, there are two parts to these fruit trees. The top is the scion, and that is the part, so that's my hand on right now, that is the part selected by the breeder for good fruit. Uh, good size fruit, good tasting fruit, uh, that's the special part of the tree. The other special part of the tree is the rootstock. Down here it's grafted on. Rootstock has been bred for resistance to diseases, to nematodes, uh, sometimes salinity, uh, bad, uh, poor pH in the soil, or whatever. So. Uh, that's the part, and sometimes when trees get ne neglected, um, <laughs> we get suckers thrown up. So when you get done pruning, this is the last part to take a look at or, or do. You gotta get these suckers out of here or they will just take over the tree. Uh, especially bad citrus because we have a, uh, usually like a trifoliate or troyer type rootstock has three leaves and that'll grow up through the tree. You don't even notice it. And that's happened to my tree. A lot of people have happened to a lot of trees, and, and uh, you got to get that out of there. So take a look down here at the rootstock. And we're going to prune some of these right down here. Try to get as close as you can. Sometimes you gotta go back through for another cut. Okay, we'll continue that, finish that later. Okay, just a review. Uh, when you go up to a tree and you wanna prune it, a deciduous fruit tree, um, look for crossing branches. 
broken branches, diseased branches, start with those, take them all out. Maybe branches laying on top of other branches, take one of those branches out. Uh, growing in a, in a poor direction, if the branch is headed toward the ground, you want them upright. A 45 degree angle is the best angle, but sometimes they just don't do that. So, you know, do the best you can. And then start thinning, you know, get some space between the, the shoots and then heading. That's topping the tree down to where you can pick the tree. So that'll conclude this video. I want to thank uh, Nick Staley Ranch in Valley Center and Maricosta College Orchard for letting me come in here and take these videos.